Hi everybody! How's everyone doing tonight? If you're watching this part of the video, you're probably catching the replay, so go ahead and drop me a 2 in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my live broadcast, my name is Hannah Brindley, and I'm coming live to you from Austin, Texas. So tonight I'm going to be showing you what's going to happen if I use matte gloss on my face <laughs> before I actually put on my foundation, so almost like a primer. Um, so give me just a second. I'm going to share this video to my group. Hi, everybody. Hi, Darlene. Thanks for watching. Hi, Courtney. How are you? Y'all drop a one in the comments if you're watching live. I'm super excited about this. Like, I've heard about this little trick for a while now. Um, and I just haven't tried it, so I thought I would try it live for you guys. Um, so basically, I'm just going to be putting matte gloss on my face. <laughs> I'm super pumped. Supposedly it makes your skin look incredibly flawless. It's supposed to fill in all the pores um, and make your skin just look super smooth and porcelain. I'm pumped. So, y'all let me know you're watching. Say hello. Let me know where you're tuning in from. And then we'll get started. You try Vaseline? That's cool. I've never heard of that. I'll have to try that on live. And so before I get started, um, I've had something kind of laying on my heart for a little while. Hi, Darlene. Hi, Darla. Let me know you're watching. I've had something kind of been laying on my heart for a little while. I felt very moved to start utilizing my business platform and social media for serving Jesus. So something I want to start doing with my live videos from here on out is kind of starting with just something short, just like a, a short verse or an inspirational quote or something, and then at the end take some prayer requests. So today, it the Bible verse is, don't worry about anything, instead pray about everything. So that is Philippians 4, 6, and so it's going to lead me into starting taking prayer requests. Um, at the end. So if you have any prayer requests, let me know. I want to do it every single video. Um, let's see. Sheree, is it Sheree or Sherry? Um, but yeah, I'm doing it as a primer. I'm so excited. So I've got my eyes done and my eyebrows. Um, I still need to work on my face and my lips. <laughs> Courtney, you're fine. Thanks, Darlene. Okay, so here's the matte gloss. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of I'm not going to put the wand on my face because, like, I put this on my mouth. I don't know. So I'm just going to take it like a primer. I'm going to get enough product on here. Hi, guys. Let me know you're watching. Okay. So I've kind of got it in my hands. I'm a little nervous. I'm going <laughs> to – I don't ever use primer, really. So <laughs> – but I do have bigger pores right here. So I'm kind of curious to see if it fills them in. Okay. So – And it's super smooth. Hi, Deborah. Thanks for watching. And y'all, if you're watching me live, if you would share the video, that would mean so much to me, you guys. Um, I love doing these videos, and I want to be able to keep doing them for you. Hi, Heidi. How are you? Thanks for watching. I want to get to 10 shares tonight. But, so this is matte gloss on my face. It feels super smooth, like really silky. And I'm going to try pressing it into certain areas to see if it'll help fill pores. I wonder if it'll fill like fine lines too. I'm just kind of curious. What are you guys up to tonight? I know it's Sunday. Have y'all had a good weekend? Okay, so when I press into my cheeks, it completely filled my pores. That's really cool. <laughs> and it, like I said, it feels super silky. Like, I don't think my face has ever felt this silky. This is really interesting. Y'all, people say this all the time that the matte gloss makes an awesome primer. I just haven't done it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to try actually a new foundation to me. This is, well, it's by Synagence, but it's a different formula. So I typically use the regular Make Sense foundation, which is like this, but I'm going to actually try the anti advanced anti-aging Make Sense 
um, in my shade. So I don't know what the difference is really. I've heard this one's a little more moisturizing. So I like moisturizing, so we'll see how this applies with the matte gloss on top. I'm really curious. I'm just going to take this really big brush. Hi Madison, how are you? I'm going to put a little more. I do like how this looks. I feel like it made my foundation look super smooth, you guys. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, April. Tell her congratulations for me. I'm good, Madison. Oh, hi, Lauren. How are you? Thanks for hopping on. So I've already put, for, you know, the people just hopping on, I already put matte gloss on underneath. I use it kind of like a primer, and I'm trying out the Advanced Anti-Aging Make Sense formula. So I use the regular Make Sense already, but I'm just trying out the anti-aging one. It's supposedly a little more moisturizing, I guess, more for mature skin. And I actually kind of like this shade better on me. I feel like this shade's a little lighter than the regular one for some reason, even though it's the same shade. Hi, Amanda. How are you? Okay. And y'all, if you're watching, let me know. And share this video if you would. It would mean the world to me. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Sarah. Thanks, April. Thanks for sharing. If you share, let me know. Okay, so and I want to do the rest of my face tonight just so I can see how everything's going to blend out. Oh, is it Sherry or Sherry? Tell me how it's pronounced. Um, but it's actually shade Ivory. I wear the lightest. <laughs> I'm good, Amanda. What are you doing this Sunday? Hi, Julia. How are you? Thanks for hopping on. Hi, Taylor. Okay. Yo, I get so distracted looking at these comments. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. So my skin looks pretty smooth in the, like those areas, especially on my cheeks. I feel like it kind of filled in the pores. Hi, Chelsea. How are you? And so next, I'm actually going to be putting concealer just in places that I want to conceal, so a little under my eyes. So I guess before I do that, I'm going to do my eye illuminator, which y'all know I love this so much. It's got like a peachy tint. It's actually the eye cream and the pearlizer combined. Um, so it actually, I mean, y'all can see like it just completely covered any darkness that I had under there. And it's not even a concealer. It's an eye cream technically. And it just kind of brightens under there. It's the best. I love this stuff. Like, this was probably, like, hi, Gabby, hi, Janine. This was probably my first product I tried from Synergence that wasn't lip sense, and I fell in love, so I had to try everything else. Hi, Bridge, Bridge, uh, I can't talk. Hi, Angelica, thanks for hopping on. So I'm just putting the yeah, illuminator on underneath my eyes, and then I'm going to take my white concealer, Y'all know I like, love my white concealer. Hi, Melissa. Let's see, where is my... Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of the lights. Just a little. And I'm going to mix the two together to create kind of my perfect shade. So, that's why I like about this. How are y'all doing tonight? I know it's Sunday. I'm just kind of relaxing. And y'all, so if you missed the first part of the video, I'm actually going to be taking prayer requests after every live video. Um, so let me know how I can pray for you every day because I'm coming on here every day. <laughs> oh, I missed my hour of sleep too. I am so tired today. So I'm going to get my beauty blender. And share this video, you guys. If you like my videos, please share. Oh yeah, it's 
I woke up with a terrible headache. I've been battling like a tension headache all day. It finally went away, but I took like three Excedrins. Whoops. It is what it is. <laughs> Hi, Amy. I mean, I feel better. I had to make it on here. Okay. So, I'm going to do a little bit more foundation. I feel like for some reason, where is it? The anti-aging one, it doesn't have as much coverage as the regular foundation. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Hi, Michaela. Hi, Tony. Y'all let me know if you are watching live. Say hey. Okay, yeah. So we put just a little bit more there. Um, okay, so I'm going to do my bronzer next. So I'm actually going to be using bronze blush scents which I love this stuff if y'all have seen any of my videos lately I've been using this like nobody's business so it's exactly what it is hi rosemary it's a blush it's a liquid blush but I'm going to use it as my bronzer <laughs> really Gabby okay I thought it was just me so um um, Darlene, if you're watching, the anti-aging formula doesn't have as much coverage as the regular makes sense, so we might want to try the regular makes sense instead of the anti-aging. It's still anti-aging, don't worry, because it's got the Cineplex Complex in there, but I think the anti-aging is just more moisturizing and less coverage. I think that's what it is. Okay. So I'm just going to take this brush and blend it in. Hi, everybody. Can't live without my blender. Oh my gosh, yes. Which um, Morphe palette do you have, Amanda? Um, I have, <laughs> the only ones I have are the Jaclyn Hill ones. Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette and the new Jaclyn Hill because I'm obsessed with her. She was, uh, in case any of you know, she was the first beauty blogger I ever started watching. And the first time I watched her videos, I remember I was in Mississippi and I stayed up all night in the bed watching her videos. I think I've seen every single one of her videos. I was like obsessed with her. <sighs> so everything she's ever done, you know, I had to have. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Barbara. Let me know if you're watching live. Right now I'm just doing the bronze blush scents and that looks scary. <laughs> just as my bronzer, but don't worry, I'm going to blend that out. I'm not going to be looking like that. <sighs> oh my gosh, yes. Jaclyn Hill is awesome. I love her. Love, love, love her. Hi guys, let me know you're watching live. Hi Alyssa, hi Crystal. The Warm It Up palette, oh my gosh, I love warm tones. Um, if you are like fair skin, warm tones are everything. Okay, so that is the bronze blush scents, which like I said, if you've watched any of my videos lately, like y'all know I'm obsessed with this stuff. It's the best, like, because it, it's a liquid so it looks natural. And it's super easy to blend. And it stays all day. Which I love. <laughs> I hate reapplying. Hi, Megan. Oh, hi, Kenzie. How are you? Okay, so now I'm going to do, what am I going to do next? I'm going to take my highlighter. Actually, I'm going to be a little extra today. Let me find a highlighter. I'm going to use my liquid one. Let me dig out all of my highlights. Y'all, like, I just reorganized my makeup, and I don't know where anything is. It, it's supposed to help me, not hurt me, right? Ooh, speaking of Jaclyn Hill. <gasps> for a couple moments of my life. Oh, my gosh, yes. Jaclyn is awesome. I'm, I just, I'm addicted to her, her stuff. Hi, Brittany. Okay, so I'm going to take my pearlizer. I'm going to put on the high points of my face, and then... I'm going to use Champagne Pop because, I mean, we're talking about Jocelyn Hill, so. <laughs> I love Champagne Pop. Okay, so I'm going to take my blender. I'm just, this is a super natural highlight. This is what I wear on, like, a daily basis. So, you can tell it just kind of blends into the skin. It's not powdery. It's super natural. Y'all, if you're just hopping on, tell me Hey. Y'all share this video if you enjoy watching, talking to me, it would mean the world. 
Y'all know I enjoy doing this. Okay. So, oh, got like a bristle on my nose. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Sorry. Ugh. Gotta take my brush. Okay. So, and if you share, let me know you shared. Hi, Tiffany. Okay. How are you? So I'm going to take my, as I'm reaching, this is um, Pink Posy Shadow Sense. I actually used it on um, my crease today. Um, so this is a cream to powder eyeshadow. It's long wearing, it's smudge proof, and it's waterproof, but I'm going to use it as my blush today. Um, so it just comes like this. I'm just going to take a blush brush. What is this? This is a Morphe E4. I really like the Morphe Elite brushes. Hi, Chelsea. So this is... Pink Posy. <gasps> you did, Chelsea. Thank you. You're the best. Okay. Yay. <laughs> I'm so excited. Y'all, so um, there's a boutique. Ashley Knight, Bless Your Heart Boutique. I've been eyeing this um, star shirt for a while that was like $22. And y'all, for some reason, I am so cheap when it comes to clothes. But I was just like, no, no, no. So I told Chelsea, I was like, I have to go live. Let me know if her live sale video It's cheaper. I'll Venmo you money. So, <laughs> yay. Hi, Mandy. Brought my champagne pop. No, I hate that. I think I broke my original champagne pop. Hi, Taylor. How are you? So, <laughs> thank you, Chelsea. Just tell me, for, is it 14 even? I, I don't know. Just tell me how much I need to Venmo you in a text. Okay, so this is Champagne Pop, y'all. I'm obsessed, so I'm just going to put it over my pearlizer. <sighs> y'all, love Champagne Pop. Okay, so I don't know. I'm just, this is a blush brush from MAC. I'm just going to take it. I don't, I don't care. Y'all, I haven't used Champagne, oh my gosh. I haven't used Champagne Pop in a minute. Whoa. Y'all, if you have never tried Becca's highlights, you are missing out because they are the most pigmented things <laughs> like I've ever seen. But do not travel with them because you'll break them. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Don't travel with them. I think I broke my opal and one of my champagne pops that way. <laughs> and they're expensive. They're like 30 or 40 bucks or something like that. But they're so worth it and they last forever if you're careful. Okay. What am I going to do now? Yeah, I just feel like the advanced anti-aging one does not have a lot of coverage, y'all. Um, like, it, it's more like sh light to medium coverage. I'm kind of shocked. Whereas, like, the regular Make Sense is super full. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, I'm just going to make sure I'm going to add just a little bit more down here because I kind of like to have it cut down here. Use opal today. Oh my gosh. Like opal's too dark on me as like a highlighter. <laughs> it almost kind of, um, I have to use it as like a blush. Like champagne pop is barely light enough for me. <laughs> Most of the time I actually have to pair it with moonstone. But I broke my moonstone, so it is what it is. <sighs> but yeah, I kind of like what the matte gloss did because it filled in my pores on my cheeks. I could tell, you know, the makeup just kind of went on a lot smoother. Hi, Jessica. How are you? Hi, Brooke. Let me know you're watching. Okay, and so next... What was I going to do? Um, oh, yeah. I'm going to take my oops remover. I'm going to prime my lips. And if y'all could share this video, that would be amazing. I'd love to get 10 shares on this video. It means I can keep doing more. <laughs> and I love doing these. Oh, crap. I didn't bring my... Here we go. Ah, here's my, my little towel. Okay, so what I just did, I used my oops remover to take off like any extra makeup. Um, so before I put my lip scents on, hi Robin, how are you? So before I put on my lip scents, I just want my lips to be super clean and dry. So I probably shouldn't drink what's in this cup right now because that would 
even though I really want to. Okay, so what we're going to do tonight is I'm going to do a recommendation um, that was by a customer today. So it is, what is it? One layer of pink champagne, one layer of beige champagne, one layer of pink champagne, and then sand gloss. Like, I'm stoked because I love sand gloss and I love it over top of beige champagne. So I'm super curious to see what it would look like over this. Hi, Britt. Hi, Jennifer. How are you guys? Okay. So where are my colors? Okay. So here's pink champagne. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Morgan. Y'all let me know you're watching. I'm good, Robin. How are you? I'm just kind of putting on my lip scents on. You know. <laughs> I enjoy it. Okay. So this is pink champagne. You want to make sure it's shaken up. And then you just want to make sure you wipe off all the excess. One layer, one swipe this way. You don't want to go back and forth. Y'all know the drill. <laughs> okay, I'm glad I'm not alone with being too pale. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my gosh, me too. So this is one layer of pink champagne. And so now I'm going to do, hi Nola. I'm going to do one layer of beige champagne. I'm actually, y'all, I'm actually really disappointed in the coverage of the Advanced Anti-Aging. I, you know, I think I might actually like this foundation if, like, I knew it wasn't going to be full coverage. But I guess I'm used to the Make Sense, the regular one. That has super full coverage, so I just figured it would have full coverage, but it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so this is beige champagne. So I'm going to do one layer of beige. Hi, Amy. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I love beige champagne. Hi, Tammy. Y'all let me know you're watching. Hi, Emily. Okay, so that's the champagne. Then I'm going to let that dry again. And then I'm going to do a layer of pink champagne. She does that with the advancing anti-aging? I didn't know that. I need to try that. I'm going to try that next time. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. Because I really wanted this to work because this this shade is lighter than the regular Makes Sense, which I always like to be a little lighter for some reason. Okay, so here is pink champagne again. Y'all, if you're just hopping on, let me know you're watching. Share this video. At the end of this video, I'm going to be taking prayer requests. So just let me know to pray for you guys tonight. Okay, this is so pretty. Okay, I'm going to go look for it. Thank you. That's awesome. I just don't like powder on my face, though. So we'll see. I'll, I'm going to try it anyway. I like trying stuff. So this is a really pretty combo. This is pink champagne and beige champagne. Like... Holy smokes, this might be my new combo for day-to-day -day basis. Darlene was so right, so right. Hi, Jessica, how are you? Okay, so I'm going to make sure this is dry. And then I'm going to put on glossy gloss, duh. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm going to try it. Hi, Katie. Okay. Glossy. Y'all always put glossy on before any specialty gloss every time. I just love glossy gloss. It's like crack. So, <laughs> I mean, not really, but it is. It's like crack. Okay. So now I'm going to do. The heck? Something weird just happened with my gloss. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. So here is same gloss. Uh, yep. 
She was so right. This is a new favorite everyday shade for sure. So for anyone that missed it, um, what did I do again? <laughs> okay, so I did one layer of pink champagne, one layer of beige champagne, another layer of pink champagne, and then I sealed with glossy and then topped with sand gloss. I love this. Like, I love this shade, y'all. Like, absolutely love. Um, now, where is my Fix Plus? Aha! If any of y'all don't know, I'm obsessed with Fix Plus. I have been for years, and they're coming out with new scents. They're also coming out with a matte one, but I like to be dewy. So, I'm going to spray this on my face now. <laughs> but, they are coming out with those um, scents again, I'm pretty sure, and the matte one. You heard it here first. Um, hi, Hannah. Okay. So, I'm just going to let that dry, and then... I'm going to let you guys put in, any, put in any prayer requests at the bottom. You can put, you know, just an unspoken prayer request, um, anything like that. Um, I'm going to be praying for you guys after I get off the video. Um, oh, my gosh. I love the lavender, though. I love the rose. I love the coconut. I love all of them. So, I, just, <laughs> I love them all. So, I'll put any in any prayer requests if you have any. Um, and then if you like this video, make sure, or you like me or you like watching my videos, make sure you like it, give it a thumbs up, give it some hearts, and share this video if you would, it would mean the absolute world to me. Um, anything helps because I want to do this for the long haul. So um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. And okay, love you guys, bye.